Hello everyone. Let's learn today properties of multiplication and addition. First we move to addition. Now let's look at addition properties. The first one is commutative property. When two numbers are added, the sum will be same regardless of the order of the numbers. That means if I add two numbers, suppose A and B, then A plus B will always be equal to B plus A. Order does not matter in addition. For example, 2 plus 3 is 5, so is 3 plus 2. Both the numbers will add to 5 only. The next property is associative property. When three or more numbers are added, sum is same regardless of grouping of addends. Now the numbers are called addends basically. So if we are adding three or more numbers, you can first add any two numbers and then the result will be added to the third number. Here whatever two numbers you are adding does not matter at all. That means if A plus B plus C, we have three numbers to add. If I first add A plus B and their result is added to C, this is going to be same as if I add B plus C first and their result is added to A. Let's have a look. Now 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. The result 5 is added to 4, it gives me answer 9. Same way, if I add 3 plus 4 first, now 3 plus 4 is 7. When the, seven, when the number 7 is added to 2, the answer is 9. So you see, result in both the cases is same. This is known as associative property. Third is additive identity. Now, sum of any number and 0 is always going to remain the original number. That means, if I add 0 to any number, it will remain the number itself. a plus 0 is going to be a only. For example, 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. Next, we move on to very important property called distributive property. Now, what is distributive property? The sum of two numbers multiplied by a third number is equal to sum of each addend multiplied separately by the third number. What do we mean by this? For example, we have three numbers A, B and C. Now two numbers out of them B and C are being added and the third number A is being multiplied to their product. That means A into B plus C can be written as A into B plus a into c. For example, 2 into 3 plus 4. 2 into 3 plus 4. Now 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 into 2 is 14. If I look at the right hand side, I have written 2 into 3 plus 2 into 4. Now 2 into 3 is 6. 2 into 4 is 8. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. That means whatever way I write, I'll get the answer 14 only. This is called distributive property. Next, we move forward to multiplication properties. The first one is commutative property. When two numbers are multiplied, product is same regardless of the order. That means A into B will be equal to B into A. Here the order does not matter at all. Example 2 into 3 is 6. So is 3 into 2. Next we move forward to associative property. When 3 or more numbers are multiplied, product is same regardless of grouping of numbers. We have 3 numbers A, B and C. Now it is my wish which two numbers I want to multiply first. That means 
I can multiply A into B first and then their product can be multiplied to number C or I can multiply B and C first and their product can be multiplied to A. Let's have a look. 2 into 3 into 4 I have to multiply. Now first I multiply 2 into 3 that is 6. 6 into 4 comes out to 24. Now if I look at the right hand side 3 into 4 I have multiplied here first. 3 into 4 is 12. 12 into 2 is also 24. So grouping is not at all important. The important point is that you multiply correctly. Next we move forward to multiplicative identity. Uh, now the multiplicative identity says the product of any number and the number 1 is the original number itself. That means any number a when multiplied by 1 will give me number a itself. Example 5 into 1 is always going to remain 5 only. Next we move forward to distributive property. The sum of two numbers multiplied by a third number is equal to sum of each addend multiplied by the third number separately. That means a into b plus c will be equal to a into b plus a into c. Example 2 into 3 plus 4 is equal to can be written as 2 into 3 plus 2 into 4. The result of both of these is 14. I hope you understood the properties of addition and multiplication. See you soon with the next lesson. Thank you.